Welcome. I'm Martha Gallagher, and this is my virtual spring welcoming concert, even though I'm welcoming spring with snow in my yard. And I'm delighted that you are here. So let's begin after that little snippet with a piece that I absolutely love called Bless This Precious Day, inspired by a blessing in Amy Jay's beautiful book, The Blessed Home. I bless this day before I open my eyes. I bless this day as I arise. It is a gift that I've been given. I bless this precious day. I bless the sunshine. I bless the rain and the snow. I bless the joys. I bless the pains. These are all things that I've been given. I bless this precious day. I bless its preciousness, sacredness, holiness in all I think and do and say. I bless this precious day. that I've been given I bless this precious day These are all gifts that we've all been given And we can bless this precious day blessing of the day and as I was singing the sun came out so <clears throat> what a blessing what a blessing indeed so here we are just at the very beginning of spring because it was only a few days ago this past week where we had the vernal or spring equinox which is that threshold of stepping across from winter into spring and you know every season of course you know every season has its weather, its temperatures, its um, elements, and its energies. And winter is that time, um, and it's, it's especially noticeable, I think, where I live in the Northeast, where we, we go into a very obvious winter with cold and snow, and maybe not the same way we used to. Things are changing. But nonetheless, the plants all draw their energy down into the earth. What's on top dies back, except for certain trees, of course, the evergreens. But um, the same thing happens to our energy. We're part of the natural world. But often we deny that, and because we have things like busy lives and electric lights and heat and all those things, we might not have to kind of go into that almost hibernational state. So instead, we try to remain active, which can be really a push-me-pull-you kind of thing during the winter for us. So if you're ever feeling sort of out of uh, rhythm, out of harmony with the season, that may be why. But as we come out of winter, <laughs> whether we want to or not, because sometimes just staying under the covers and <laughs> snuggling in is exactly what we still want to do, but the energies of spring call us forward. So let's just take a little bit of time and first we're going to 
go a step backwards a little bit and really not so far backwards into winter. This is a poem that I wrote, a poem pondering, that I wrote one very cold winter morning as I was looking out my back door. I go to step out the back door to get more wood to feed the wood stove. Through the window I see it, gently falling magic. Snowflakes, soft, tumble and whirl in a dance of delight. My heart lifts. I smile, although no one is there, just gently falling magic. Do not think of shoveling or of clearing off the roof. I do not think of any inconvenience or dangers of winter. I don't even hunch against the cold, 17 degrees. I am bundled in awe. I am warm in wonder. I breathe in the frigid air. It's refreshing. I lift my face to meet the snow, and it kisses my old skin, making it feel young again or rather, timeless. I am gifted the sight, the sound, although almost imperceptible, and the touch of gently falling magic. It clings to branches, it covers the back steps, swirls between me and the river. I do not try to catch it in my hands, only on my face, uplifted, eyes closed, smiling, delighted with gently falling magic. And I would love to take you now on a walk in the woods, in the winter. Come, join me.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that walk in the woods in the Adirondacks. It's one of my favorite trails, and it's just kind of a ramble, and that's something that I love doing, just walking through the woods. Hiking is a whole other energy level, but walking, sauntering, meandering, mm, I love that. So I'm glad you were able to join me. Now I'd love to take you on a different kind of journey. We're going to take a step backwards into winter, and then together, step across the threshold into spring. The winter, dark and deep, calling my cells and my soul into rest sleep, dreaming. Like the roots, like the rhizomes of the perennial plants, my energy draws into the earth. And there I can rest. Like a seed waiting to be called by spring. And as the winter goes on, I start to feel that call of spring. It calls my cells and my soul. I can start to feel that energy move, stretch, wiggle gently. And as we approach the threshold of the spring equinox, I feel that pull even more so, awakening, enlivening. And as we stand on the threshold of the spring equinox, we can look back over our shoulders and see what was. The gifts of joys and sorrows, the gifts of busyness, but hopefully also the gifts of rest. And then we look to see where we are in this moment betwixt and between. Looking ahead, we see what is yet to be and we step into spring. Let ourselves awaken anew. Spring awakens.
lush, wet and green. Water, water, water rushing down from mountains. Water, water, water rushing down to valleys below. Water, water, water rushing down from mountains. Water, 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 water rushing down to valleys below. I hope you enjoyed that journey, that journey into spring awakening all around us. Most of that song came to me on that same trail that I took you on for the winter walk, but it was, it was in spring when I was walking and literally looking up to the tops of a tree and this bird starts singing as if it had just unfrozen and the water's running under the ice and under some of the snow. So thank you for going with me on that journey as well. Now we're at the point in the concert that, well, I love all of them, but this is where you get to create. I'm gonna play some music for you and you can create. And creation is just, to me, is just a wondrous thing and, oh, just so enlivening. This is a poetry form that go we're going to work with. It's called Dekas, D-E-K-A-A-Z. And it was created by a woman named Rachel Bagby. And I learned this uh, attending a virtual workshop uh, for the summit, the, they call it, the Joy Summit that was um, featured, highlighted the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu. So it was a joyful time all around. Decas are constructed in a certain way, and it's very simple. I know some of you have done this before, and those who haven't, this is how it, it is constructed. The first line, it's only three lines, and the first line is only two syllables. The second line is going to be three syllables, and the third line is five syllables. So in total, you have 10 syllables, decas. And I thought, I'll share some with you so you can hear what they sound like. And also, when, cert when the words are put one, two, three, or the, the lines one, two, three, it creates this pyramid shape in the words, which is beautiful. And I will tell you that Rachel says that to truly complete a decas, you must speak it aloud to another living being. So maybe in this virtual concert, we can't be speaking them to each other and hearing them, but I invite you to speak them aloud as you type them into the chat if you'd like to share. I love reading. We all have loved reading what other people create. Type it into the chat, and if nothing comes to you right now, that's okay. You could just sit back and enjoy the music. And if you do create something later, I would love it if you emailed it to me. I just, I love people creating. So here are some examples. And this is one that I did. I started and I got on a roll. So you will hear it as it goes from winter into spring. So this is a whole stack of, I think there's maybe seven decas. So each one, that little form of two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five but I'll put them up one at a time so you can see their form and read them. Winter says farewell, but then stays longer. Winter seems to love staying, teasing spring, but spring takes the lead in the dance of change. Vernal equinox, a time of balance. Over we now step into spring's embrace. No way to stop spring from taking her place in the rhythmic dance of the earth's seasons. So we're going to create our decas around spring 
Or you can do winter into spring, the spring equinox, that moment of balance. And um, use that topic unless something else is speaking to you and uh, go for it. Grab yourself a piece of paper or something to write with. And, uh, or you, I type them on my phone often. Uh, when I'm out and about, they just come to me. It's, it's kind of addictive. <laughs> you enjoyed that and I hope that the creative juices were flowing and now is your chance you can type them into the chat if you haven't already and want to share them and again if they come to you later I'd love to receive an email with your decas so we think of spring as the time of renewal but as we mark this time we also are maybe um, even more aware of those who have passed on, those we have lost in the physical realm. And this next tune is a beautiful, the words, I'm, I'm not going to sing it, but the words are really about crossing over and seeing the faces of those who have gone before you. The angels, the saints, the ancestors, the beloveds. And the tune itself, though, has a beautiful spring-like, in a gentle way, energy. The Ash Grove.
What a beautiful tune. And this next song I'm going to share is one that I wrote a number of years ago now, and I haven't played it in ages. When my daughter was born 37 years ago, I knew I wanted to write a song for her. And I knew that I would. But it took me 11 years to do it. I guess as a songwriter, what I found was in trying to express how much I loved this human being, this being that came from me, um, all I could write was really mushy stuff and really just over the top, you know, oozing stuff. And, and I didn't like any of it. So it took me 11 years to write it. And when I finally did, I thought, perfect. nice to sing that one again, to share that one again. And um, I chose it because, not only because I love it, but um, and hadn't done it in a while, but my daughter's birthday is coming up in a few weeks, and that just felt good to me, and I hope to share it with her. I loved this song so much, and I had this vision of putting it into a um, choral arrangement. And I did this. Um, back when she was in high school and she went to a, a uh, girls' school and they had a wonderful choir. And so I undertook creating a choral arrangement of this piece. And this is, I'm going to play for you now, the only recording we have of it. And uh, it's something that I've been, in recent months, I've just been feeling this call, this drawing to do more choral arranging, and I, I don't have a lot of experience, so I guess it's going to be time for me to gain some. But I'm going to share this with you now, and it's in a video form, but I invite you to close your eyes and just enjoy these beautiful young women's voices singing A Part of My Heart.
got another piece to play for you. But before we do that, I want to thank you so much for being here with me, even in this virtual environment, being here with us together this evening and taking part in creating DECAs. Thank you so much for sharing those. Just so beautiful. Um, and I will say that this is, I'm not doing a lot of touring now. So um, this, the virtual environment is um, a part of my work. And if you'd like to support that work, if you love what I'm doing, then I'll invite you to contribute. And you can do so by going to my website, adkharper.com. And there you'll see a place that you can contribute. And if you're not a person who likes to do any financial things online, please just drop me an email and I'll give you my address and you can pop something in the mail if, that, if you are moved to do that. And thank you, I truly appreciate that as I love this work and I love sharing it and I hear from so many people how much it means to them and I would love to be able to continue to do it. So I'm gonna finish with a, a piece that I created especially for a worship service that I was leading. And this was a worship service based around music, dance, and spoken word ministry. And I wanted a piece that was going to invite people in the congregation to get up and dance. And you know, sometimes getting people to get up and dance, especially if it's an environment where they're not accustomed to doing that, can be a challenge. But I have to say, um, everywhere I've, I've done this particular worship service, people have just gotten up and danced, and it's been wonderful. It's based on this, this song, or the words are based on a translation of a Hafez poem that Daniel Ladinsky did. And the poem itself is, is translated as saying, every child has known God, not the God of names, not the God of don'ts, and not the God who ever does anything weird, but the God who knows only four words and keeps repeating them. Come, dance with me. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. 
Blessings upon you, and welcome to spring. Thank you.